Hey guys, and welcome back to another workshop. As always, I'm joined by Matt Zuri. Greetings. And today we're covering a, a smart, uh, balanced loading system with bots. And we've gone over some of these similar things before. Uh, this is actually uh, pretty much uh, a Zuri design, but kind of used for uh, boxes as well, which is uh, pretty clever. And this is actually, uh, this is submitted by Experiment. So we have a station here, and this particular one is built for a 242, but this could, of course, be expanded to whatever size you want. You would have to change uh, these combinators in the middle, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but it's full six inserters um, per side of the wagon, so 12 total. Again, you could change that to what you want. You just need to adjust the combinators a bit. And, uh, and yeah, it does load these evenly. If I mouse over the chest here, you can see that these are pretty much even. Um, as Zuri, you were saying, with a variance, though, of the stack size bonus of the inserter, and that's kind of unavoidable. Yeah, you can't avoid that discrepancy, but it it'll, it'll will even out or stay within that delta. Yeah. It always makes you a little happy to see something I designed quite a long time ago to show up in, in designs now. Yeah, and it's, it's a really good system. I mean, you can see, I mean, it's keeping them pretty much all even across... Um, across all of them, and the smarts are actually really straightforward, if I can get in here. Um, we just have these two combinators, and we were discussing earlier, I don't know that you need two combinators, this may just be for symmetry, because uh, they're both like doing the exact same thing. Yeah, they're, the, they're set to the same, and it's for the sake of symmetry. Actually, I'm going to give it a bonus point for that one, since yeah. it's completely symmetrical in, in all dimensions. Mm -hmm, which is really nice. Um, so essentially how this is set up is all the uh, inserters from the requesters to, to, to the steel chests are all wired together here. And then each inserter is individually wired from the uh, inserter to the steel chest. And the inserters are just set to if everything in the chest is less than zero. And uh, then it's uh, all hooked up, all these chests are wired together as well, and then hooked up to these combinators, which is just taking uh, each and dividing up by negative 48 and outputting each, uh, 48 being the amount of chests uh, and inserters. There's 48 chests and 48 inserters in here. Yeah, basically all together, that just means that the box is the local amount and it subtracts the average amount. So if the box is less than average, the inserter works. Yep. And uh, it keeps it all even. So uh, what, what I was saying about changing these is if you change your train size or change the inserters per train, you just need to change these combi this combinator here um, to reflect that amount. You know, however many boxes, uh, steel chests and inserters you have total, uh, that's how much you need to set this to as a negative. Yeah. It used to be the negative number of boxes it's feeding into. And it'll average that out. And we should probably turn on the train. Yep. So we have a little train here set to go there and then go unload. Uh, now, one thing uh, to mention is that this does stop loading evenly, I believe, um, when a train is here. Although it looks like it's still maintaining. It's because the inserters were synchronized. Oh, and, and I made the train too long, too. That yeah. usually doesn't help. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so go there. And now he's leaving because it's full. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think typically, though, when a train is in here, it kind of stops the even loading because the chests are also being emptied at the same time. Yeah, when all the chests pretty much always equal zero and it, it, they just pass over the contents, you you make it uneven wagon design. And you can adjust for that by... Well, since all the boxes are already wired up and totaled, you can turn on and off the station based on the contents of the boxes. So if you don't have enough for a full train, you can turn the station off. Yeah, which is really nice. So it'd be simply you just can run a power pole. These are already wired together. So just take a wire from one of them to the power poles over to the station, hook it up, and then just give it, uh, you know, whatever amount, you know, turn on and off based on the amount uh, for a full train, uh, depending on what size train you have. And now I am 
Okay, these are okay. So just a quick note because I was looking for where the uh, each side is wired across to each other, and it looks like it's actually done as I almost die um, between the combinators, which is kind of an interesting way to do it. Rather than crossing like at the top or bottom from one side to the other for the wires. Oh, uh, like I said, that's pretty much for yep. symmetry. And, uh, and yeah, there you go. Uh, one more bonus point, which you pointed out. Uh, this does include storage chests too, which really every design should have. Uh, it it just helps in general for like having if bots take random stuff from you or or, you, or something, they actually have somewhere to put it rather than sitting there uh, spamming some alert. Or you deconstructed something, or there's a million different reasons why you need a storage chest and bot designs. Yeah. So even more bonus points for that. Overall, really good design, clever way of doing it, and uh, very easily adjustable and stuff for whatever chain size. Like we said, you can turn the station on and off if you would like. Um, but I believe that does it. Any other thoughts for this, Zuri? No, oh, that's everything. All right, blueprint for this will be in the description if you want to use it. Uh, again, really great design. Uh, and continue submitting if you guys have anything you want us to look at. But until next time, uh, we will catch you later. Later.